Okay, we're uh, here with uh, Craig Woodson, safety for the Golden Bears, and also a uh, Texas native. Uh, played high school football with Miles Jernigan. We have Miles coming up next, so we figure you may have a few questions about that. And anything else you'd like to ask Craig, uh, let us know in the chat if you have a question. We'll get started with Jeff Ferrato from Cal Sports Report. Craig, how you doing? Doing great, man. Just getting ready for this game. Uh, just excited to go back to Texas and play in front of family and friends. So uh, I'm just locked in and focused right now. Can you tell us how ready you think the defense is uh, to take the next step and improve on what you did last year? Man, I think um, we're definitely ready. Um, when it comes to just practicing, we just practice with a lot more urgency, a lot more focus and detail when it comes to just assignments and just running to the ball, just having that energy just coming out from the start to finish the practice. So um, I think we're going to be ready to just, you know, take that step and just be better than we were last year uh, and just make, you know, the most strides we can, just be the best defense in the Pac-12. So um, I think everybody's locked in right now, and, uh, you know, that's what we need to, you know, be where we want to be. Thank you. Yeah, there are other first round questions for Craig. We'll go ahead and go to Matt Moreno from Cal Rivals. Uh, what's the excitement level like with the, not only for just the start of the season, but for, but for a lot of the Texas guys to be able to, like you mentioned, go play in front of friends and family again? Yeah, all the Texas guys, we get super excited. Um, this is my first time playing back in Texas. Um, I know some of the guys already played uh, when they played TCU um, like two years ago. So uh, I think we're all just excited just that, you know, have friends and family that, you know, we haven't, we don't get to see a lot. Um, and also haven't seen in a while, just be able to watch us and just perform and do, you know, play as a game that we love in front of them. So, um, you know, all of us, uh, we're just super excited, man. We're ready. Okay, any other first round questions for Craig? Okay, if either anybody has a, uh, Jeff or Matt, or anybody has a question, go ahead. Let me know in the chat. We'll go to uh, we'll go back to Matt Moreno. Go ahead, Matt. Uh, you know, obviously, you've seen the progression of the defense over the course of spring and now training camp. Um, where do you feel like maybe some of the strengths are within this group? There was a lot of talk already with the coaches yesterday just about the improvement in the secondary in particular. Uh, where do you kind of see the, the growth and improvement over the course of you know, the last several months now? Yeah, um, like you said, with the coach staff saying the secondary, you know, that's definitely an improvement. Uh, just having a lot of depth when it comes to secondary and uh, having a lot of guys that can play and be the starter, um, just driving that competition. Uh, in that aspect, but also just uh, pass rush, just getting to the quarterback. Um, I think that's a lot of things that we've been working on this off season, and especially like spring ball and coming into the summer at ball camp. Uh, we got to get to the quarterback, you know. We're we got to disrupt the timing of the quarterback and of them making their reads and getting their throws off. So I think just having that pass rush uh, get there and then, you know, on the back end, we're going to handle what we can handle. But um, I think that was a big improvement. And then also just, you know, everybody being, you know, bought in. So what we, you know, got to accomplish. We're trying to get to the Pac-12 championship. We're trying to be the best defense we can be uh, in Pac-12. So, you know, everybody having that mindset and just being, you know, unified when it comes to that. I think that's just, you know, a big aspect when it comes to uh, trying to make it there. So. Okay, we'll go to Jeff Ferrano. Go ahead, Jeff. Greg, uh, you talked about the defense, but what's your impression – of your offense uh, having been practicing against them for weeks now? Yeah, I think the offense definitely got, a, you know, a lot of things going on. And I don't want to say too much about, you know, what we got game plan wise and things like that. But um, I think we're going to see a lot of explosive plays when it comes to offense and, you know, seeing the ball on perimeter and also just going deep and even being able to run the ball. So uh, I think we can do a lot of things. Um, I think we have the right guys to do that um, personnel wise. So um, I'm really just excited to, uh, get out of field with them and let them put up points. And when it comes to defense, we're going to shut them down. So I'm ready for that. With all due respect to what your offense was last year, is this night and day different than that? Uh, definitely, definitely. I mean, we got a whole new coaching staff So uh, when it comes to offense. So it's definitely going to be different. But um, I think a fan is going to be really excited when they, you know, come to North Texas, coming to that first game, seeing what we got to offer when it comes to offense. So um, I just – Tell everybody, just be ready. Be ready for the show. Thank you. Okay, we'll go back to Matt Moreno. Go ahead, Matt. Uh, what can you tell us about North Texas and their offense and what you've seen on film and, and what they present to you guys as a defense? Yeah, um, definitely a lot of tempo. Um, you know, we're used to kind of playing a little tempo when it comes to just experience from last year and things like that. Um, being able to put the ball in the perimeter, uh, get it out fast and get going. Also, just 
uh, spreading the offense, spreading the offense out and uh, running the ball up the middle, uh, doing a lot of things like that. So I think in practice, we're definitely dialed into those things. I definitely think like we're going to come out ready uh, when it comes to Saturday, but uh, they do a lot of things that, that are pretty good. So uh, we got to just be locked in on keys and details and assignments. Okay, we're here with Cal outside linebacker Miles Jernigan for media availability on August 30th. Go ahead and let me know if you have a question for Miles uh, in the chat, and we'll call upon you and go from there. Go ahead and get started with Jeff Ferrato from Cal Sports Report. Go ahead, Jeff. Miles, uh, there's a rumor that you and uh, your teammate there uh, both uh, went to the uh, same high school, Craig, and you about 40 miles away. Is that right from Denton? Is that your impression? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Exactly. How many, right. how many folks will you have at the game uh, on Saturday between friends, family, ex-teammates, ex-coaches? What do you think the the uh, the South Grand Prairie High School contingent will look like? Yeah, uh, my mom actually just texted me yesterday uh, to shoot for about 20 to 25 tickets. So I'm expecting a large group um, and can't wait to put on a show in front of the you know families, friends, coaches. So it's going to be a good one. Great. Thank you. Is there others with a first round question? If so, let me know in the chat. Go to Matt Moreno from Cal Rivals. There's obviously been a lot made about the heat and what to expect. How much of your teammates kind of come to you and been like, hey, what do I need to do? What do I need to, how do I need to, you know, approach this going into this game? Yeah, really, it hasn't been uh, too much of a big factor. You know, they already know that, you know, with something that we've been preparing for, um, guys have already been getting ready at practice, um, you know, just acclimating with whether that's wearing. Uh, you know, like some suits and things like that. Um, and just, you know, really pumping, getting to the ball, um, just knowing that we're going to be in a in a zone where, you know, that's going to be a pressure moment for us. But, you know, we're going to be built up and ready for it to go. So, you know, it's not really on our mind like that. Okay. Anybody else with a first round question for Miles? All right. We'll open it back up to either one of you two guys for second round and follow ups. Go to Jeff Ferrato. Go ahead, Jeff. Miles, tell us uh, in which ways your defense will be better than last year specifically. Yeah, that's a good question. You know, uh, this whole camp um, throughout the summer, throughout the spring, you know, we've all been just trying to work on improvement. Uh, you know, Coach Sermon had, he's had a lot of good key pointers just for, you know, each specific group. Um, you know, I know for us, for the outside linebacker room, you know, just um, bumping up the violence, um, focusing on watching more film, uh, so that's how we're going to take, you know, I just think our, our biggest step and just being able to make an impact uh, for the defense and for the team. Uh, yeah, just is there any kind of unknowns that you guys, that you see as a, as a defense, as a defensive player that you're kind of intrigued about or, or just excited to see once you guys get out there against somebody other than, you know, your own offense? Oh, yeah, right. Um, so, yeah, we're very excited, I think, just to now be able to go up against somebody else, you know, just this whole camp, you know, it's always been cow on cow. Um, and so now to be able to put the pads on, and be able to go game plan against somebody else. You know, we got a good game plan going into, you know, North Texas. Um, we're going to be ready. They actually do some of the, a lot of things that we have been seeing already um, in camp from our offense. Uh, so I think we're going there with a good game plan. It's just going to be a matter of, you know, honing in, focusing down, and just, you know, being ready, which, you know, I think our, our guys are. What have you seen from, from their front and what to expect from the offensive line and the guys you're going to be going up against? Yeah, uh, you know, both tackles is primarily who I've been watching, um, you know, from last season. Um, they had one actually who was playing guard last year. So just kind of seeing how he does with some of his pools, um, you know, and I think we, you know, Coach Vic, we've been talking about it, um, you know, just seeing like pad level, uh, certain things like that, key forms that we could just kind of watch into. So I think we're going to, you know, be ready for all those guys. Okay. 